What's up guys, it's Jeremy from Direction Plus again and thanks again for all those that commented on our post uh, last fortnight um, on our topic that we did on what's in your catch can. Uh, we did have a couple of questions back from that and one of the questions was is uh, what's the difference between fitting a Provent 150 and a Provent 200. So the biggest difference is this, is when we are fitting a Provent 150 uh, you'll notice on the, the back of them, they have a flange mount, so they don't actually have a port for the inlet uh, like they do for the outlet. So when we make the brackets for the Provent 150, we actually incorporate a barb into the bracket. So when you bolt the Provent onto the bracket, like such, um, there's a port available for you to be able to plug a hose onto. So. As far as a universal application is concerned, um, the Provent 150 is not ideal. It's If you don't have a lot of space, maybe the Provent 150 might suit. However, um, if you do have enough space to fit a Provent 200, for instance, uh, they are much easier to install because they have barbs already fitted, so you don't have to worry about developing a specific bracket to accommodate the Provent 150. So this week we're going to talk about uh, the water separators and uh, the difference between pre and post filters because there's a lot of uh, confusion or a lot of, I wouldn't say confusion, but there's a lot of debate out there what's best uh, pre or post. So all the Direction Plus kits are all pre filters um, and the reason why we use pre filters uh, or pre filter systems is because that is what we're trying to predominantly uh, protect your vehicle against is water contamination. Um, so when dealing with water contamination, uh, if you use a too fine a filter, so like your five and your two micron filters, what tends to happen is that water, the pressure at the filter elements uh, face is so high that it actually just pushes the water straight through uh, the element through the media. Uh, so Hence why we use the 30 micron filters, because uh, it allows the, the velocity at the filter face or the element, the media face, uh, to slow down and allow that water separation to actually occur. In saying that, uh, that's not saying that five and two micron filters or even your factory fuel filter um, doesn't separate or can't separate water. They do separate water, however, they're not uh, very efficient at doing that. So that's the reason why we use 30 micron or in extreme occasions, um, you can use like 150 micron filters um, for the ultimate. But once again, once you go to that ultimate, uh, the 150 micron elements, you then your particle separation then suffers. So the 30 micron uh, that we use in our kits is the best of both worlds. Uh, so we get superior water separation and we get superior pre-particle separation, allowing your factory filter to look after your engine because obviously. That filter, it was designed by the OEMs to suit the OEM specifications, so it should be able to remove or does remove all the finer uh, filters, uh, all the finer particles that will uh, could damage your fuel injection system. Um, but on the flip side of that, if you are after the best particle separation possible, um, then the five and the two micron elements, or the systems that use the five and two micron elements. Uh, may be the best uh, option for you. So it just depends what you're trying to accomplish at the end of the day, whether you're after water separation uh, to protect your vehicle against water or you're after the best uh, particle separation that you can get. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and if you have any questions or anything that, we, that you would like us to talk about or anything that you're unsure about, um, please just shoot us a line. We're happy to answer any of the questions. Um, once again, any of those that are in Queensland, stay cool in the weather and see you next fortnight.